It's 5.30 in the morning, bruh. In the hour, I gotta get ready for school. In the hour. Who is this? Kevin? Kevin, what you doing here? Caleb, I don't I really don't feel like asking any questions. Can I just come in? I'll tell you when I come in. Uh, well, okay. Come in. Come in. Kevin, what you doing here this early? Aren't you supposed to be at the School of Corrections? Listen, Caleb, I can't do it anymore, bro. I mean, I mean, being at the School of Corrections is good, but it's just this one person. And I keep telling the teachers about this person, and I, I just don't know how to deal with it anymore, Caleb. So I was wondering... If you could tell mom this later on, but I need to stay here for at least a week or two to figure out how am I going to deal with this person. Kevin, don't go down this road again. Who is this person? Please don't go down this road again, Kevin. Come on, man. I mean, I mean, you've been doing so good for so long. I mean, why go back? You don't need to go back. I'll talk to mom about letting you stay here for two weeks. But eventually, you're going to have to go back to the School of Corrections because I don't know how to help you, bro. I mean, we've been in concurrent situations. That's more deadly than your situation. And I mean, dude, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it later on today. I'll tell mom that you're here. Um, Ma has to go to work. She works at this store now over there by Nuke's Restaurant, Nuke's Eatery or Nuke's Restaurant, somewhere around there. She works in that facility in one of the stores. And I'll tell her, we'll talk about this after I get off of school later on today. Because right now I got to meet the bus. Bus comes in an hour. I got to get ready. So just stay put. We'll talk about this later, Kevin. Thanks, bro.